G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're turning that into cool. This new crazy mother... Saw my last video on this thing. We got this thing running. <laughs> I've done nothing with it since because that was only yesterday. Today, I'm going to redesign this frame and um, we'll mock it, cut it up, mock it up, and see what we can make out of it. I need to get rid of that rear suspension. I'm going to cut this off, cut it off here, extend it, and then bring it back that way. I think that's going to be the best way. Let's start cutting it up. There you go. The one I prepared earlier. So I'm rummaging through my scrap metal section. And um, what a lot of people have laying around that's no good that you can use. An old lawnmower, look at them handles, same diameter, they're coming off. And what the lawnmower handles have that we need? Bends, lots of bends, especially these ones. So same gauge, same diameter, perfect. Lots of metal there that we can use to make up the frame. I also have some solid bar here, which I'm going to use as a dowel to strengthen it when I join it. So it should still be nice and strong. How about that? That's just dummied up. I'm probably going to bring them forward just a little bit more to match the front. But that's going to work out awesome. I've drilled holes in all my pipes that uh, need to be reinforced and I'll have the, the dowel in there and then welded some of the frame, um, all the pieces. So she's all ready to weld up. Um, I've got the wheel mounted in there so I can find center so it all lines up properly so that's it for today I'm going to come back tomorrow probably um, today I want to try and get this frame welded up I've still got a bit of grinding to do get rid of that stuff um, we'll weld it up and hopefully have the bike assembled and mocked up pretty much today so we'll see how we go so yeah it should be a good day let's get into it <laughs> Here's a little tip for you. Once you finish grinding with your grinding wheel, just rough finish it. Don't take all the metal off. Swap over to a flapper disc and then remove the rest of the metal and you'll get a much better finish. There you go, all tacked together. It's not finished welded yet, but I've plugged all the holes and um, she's on. So I'm gonna check it now for squareness, which I've been doing throughout the process. But I'm really happy with the way that's looking. Love it. Bam! 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 So there you go. She's mocked up. I'm loving it. Man, it takes me back. Um, I have the original handlebars for this bike. The later bikes had bolt on handlebars where the earlier ones were part of the forks. Um, I also have, let me get them, a set of uh, Z50 style. So I'm not quite sure yet which way to go with that. Um, both period correct, and it is a custom. So I do like the idea of the APs. They are very pitted, um, would have to be painted, and they're bent. These are brand new. Um, I'd put them on, but the holes don't line up at the moment. I'm not drilling holes till I decide. Let me see if I can jig it up, see what it looks like. They are precariously balancing on the top there. Um, I do like the look of the big ape hangers, but... Anyway, I don't need to decide yet. Still got a bit to do. We'll work it out. Pretty cool. 
Oh yeah, the third option I've been thinking about is making a set of handlebars like the old school. So basically what I was thinking of doing is having it so they bolt on, make a plate which is the same shape as that, they bolt on and then they're welded to that plate and come up, which is another option, cool option, old school option. They're just not adjustable but removable so I can get it around in the back of my car. Do a few stunts, jump over some cars, maybe off a canyon or something like that. Yeah. So next I need to make up a engine plate, um, which doubles as a frame brace as well. Um, I need to make a seat, and I'm gonna run a bar here for the foot pegs, like they used to do. Um, the next dilemma is what color. I was always gonna do this bike orange. Hey dude, how you going? Um, ignored as usual. But I've changed my mind. I want to go old, old, old school. Now there's two colours that I really liked in these old bikes. One was a old gold, metallic gold, almost metal flake. And the other one is the light machine hammer tone blue that they came out in. The motor's going to be white. I know that for a fact. I'll get you decals for it. You can buy them easily enough. Got to take everything apart, sandblast everything. Everything's pitted and old, although hit that with paint. Um, but we'll get the rest of it sorted out. But that'll do me for today. Alrighty, so I've been really struggling about what colour to pick out of these two. So I put it up on my Instagram and Facebook. We've got... Oh, there's a, there's a flake. So we've got blue, flake. Oh, there's three for flake. There's a blue, there's a blue. There's a gold. There's a hammer tone, which is blue, hammer tone, blue, hammer tone, blue, hammer tone, blue, hammer tone, blue. And on Facebook, uh, gold. Go on your Franco. Blue, 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 or chrome. Um, blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. We're all on drugs because gold metal flake is the go, according to Brett. And gold. Brett, I need you to do a seat for me, mate. Brett is my um, in-house upholsterer. And um, I'm going to get him to do a seat. A massive vote for blue, so we're going to do a blue. I actually was going for the gold, but this time I'm going with you guys. Let's go to the hardware and get some. There we go. And I got some uh, white and some silver too for the other bits. Let's go home and um, finish doing this frame. Foot pegs are in, engine mounts are made up. Then I've got to make up a stay for the rear brake drum so that doesn't spin when the brake goes on. Give her a quick tidy up and she'll be ready to paint. Now, just one word of advice if you don't know. If you're welding gal, this is gal. It's got a gal cut galvanized coating on it. Remove it before you weld it. Not only is it harmful for your health when it's burning, but it messes with your welds. It's uh, no good to weld with, so get rid of it. I'll use my whizzer. Let's weld her up. Bam! We have a finished frame. I've um, put the brake stay on there, engine mount, brackets are on, just got to drill those, foot pegs are on, frame's been changed. We are ready to paint. Look at that. It doesn't get more old school than that. You wanted hammer tone? You've got hammer tone. But the next bike's gonna be gold. I've got the engine washed ready for paint. Springs are painted. Forks are painted. Steering heads painted, or forks. That looks awesome. Just looks great. Have another look. Mm. Chain guards painted. Frames looking fantastic. Wheels and hubs are stripped down, fair bit of rust in the back wheel, um, front's excellent. This back one is just rusted on there really badly, so I'm letting it soak in some WD-40. 
um, and hopefully we can salvage it. I could buy some rims. I mean, they're not expensive, but it'd be nice to use the original ones if I can. I'll keep working on that. I'm still not 100% sure what to do with the handlebars. I'm still leaning towards the ape hangers. Look at that. So the heavens have just opened up and everything that's important is inside. I quickly threw everything in here to keep it out of the rain because it's still, it's enamel paint. It takes ages to dry. But how good does that look? I'm so stoked. That looks awesome. I'm really happy. I've been looking at these bars and really they're no good. Have you ever tried to get chrome off stuff? It's just ridiculous. Um, and seeing as I no longer have a gold bike happening, I might save the big high-rise bars for the gold bike and check this out. They look really good on that. That's it. That's what's happening. On the gold bike I'm going to make, we'll run some big ape hangers. How's that? And the handlebars are a permanent fixture. Thank you very much. Well, I managed to get hold of Brett from deep south upholstery. And he didn't even hesitate. And he's asked me for measurements. So, um, so I'm thinking 260 long. I don't want it too long. And I'll be sitting right back because I'm bigger than a kid. 19 wide. And I'm thinking... 10 centimetres high. That'll work. Thanks, Brett. You're a legend. <laughs> so things are really starting to take shape, but I've got a lot to do yet. So got to rebuild the carburetor. Got to rebuild the front and back wheels, the brakes. Got to mount the motor. Can't do that till I mount the back wheel once it's all rebuilt. That's enough for today. I've had a good day and I'm really happy with what I've come up with so far. Finally got that hub out of the tyre. She's rusted pretty bad, but I think we'll be able to save both of them. Well, we're down to the last nitty gritties of it. Everything that needs to be painted is painted. Um, tyres are clean. Once this paint's properly dry, we can start putting the wheels back together. I do need to order some bits and pieces, and I've got some bits and pieces on the way. So just waiting for that stuff now. So yeah, she's getting there. Brett just sent me a sneak peek of the progress on the seat. Check it out. So while getting all these bits ready, I found that one of the brake shoes had lost its lining. Um, and I'm like, oh no, I've got to get some new shoes. You can buy them. They're about, I don't know, 40 bucks delivered, I guess. It's Christmas. I'm not going to get it before Christmas. And I'm like, I wonder if Honda, like Honda Posty and stuff like that fits. And I've got an old Honda Posty front hub. They're exactly the same. So if I get the brake jump of the mini bike, straight over the top. How good's that? Bam! Double bam. The back wheel is on. The only thing stopping me doing the front wheel is the fact that I don't have bearings for some reason. I need to get those. Front wheels back together, and you know what, with the amount of old bike stuff I've got laying around over the years, I reckon I'd have a set of bearings. If I scrounge hard enough, I'll probably find them. Ah. Told you I had bearings. So the next challenge, the chain, or well, the sprocket that I've got on the back fits the chain, but it doesn't fit the front sprocket on the clutch, which I had a bit of an inkling. That might happen. I probably should have checked it before, but I was kind of hopeful. But I do have other clutches, so we see if we've got one with the right gauge on it. It's the same as the other one. Mm. And the third clutch is the small pitch chain too. But wait, there's more. So it's not the right sprocket. And I knew that from the start. The holes don't line up. We ever put this sprocket on, drill new holes. Um, they're the original holes. And guess what I found with this, which came with the bike, which I'd forgotten about until I realised I needed another clutch. And in the box where this come out of, I've got the right sprocket. And it's a bigger sprocket, which will lower the ratio. It'll give it a better bottom end for my big lard ass. How good's that? Clean this up, paint it, put it on. I've got a brand new chain to fit that gauge. Happy days, let's do it. 
look at that that's a little bit more reminiscent of a Dexan and there's the other one that was on it you can see the pitch is completely different and a lot smaller this is going to be a lot better and original all we've got to do now obviously the chain's too long mount the engine cut the chain to length back end's done apart from the back brake and we have a roller I need to lower those front springs because I did mount the back wheel a little bit up in there because I wanted it lower. So I'm going to take a little bit out of those front springs. We'll bring it level, but we'll worry about that a little bit later on. But she rolls. Engine's bolted in and the elongated holes means I have some adjustment which will adjust my chain as it stretches. So I managed to save the original sticker off the um, fuel tank, um, peeled off with the paint on the back and um, I have ordered another one but I'm going to reuse this one. Why not? And the best way to do that, I mean it's not sticky anymore, hit it with some fresh enamel paint, stick it right over the top so I'm going to do that now. There you go, works a treat. So with the other side basically done, we can start working on the chain. Chain guard goes over the top of that, we'll fit that up, get the carburetor back on, um, get a throttle on there, get the brake working. Well, there you go, I've done everything I can do. I'm waiting for my throttle assembly, my brake cable, and my seat, and she's finished. I'm really happy with it. Takes me so far back, it's awesome, I love it. Old school. Doesn't get more old school than that. Look at that. Vintage throttle and um, grips. They look fantastic. Um, I'll pick up my cables tomorrow. And that's all I need apart from the seat. It's finished.